For the past few years, MetaHumans have been the easiest way to create high quality, realistic 3D characters. But now, Character Creator 5 is here and it's coming for the crown. And I'm not gonna lie, it's got me second guessing my entire character workflow. This is Virtual Production Insider, let's get into it. This episode is sponsored by Reillusion. What's up guys, my name is David and I'm the director of virtual production at Form Studios. And if you've been following this channel, then you know that I use MetaHumans a lot. like a whole lot. And they really have been an integral part to my journey in Unreal Engine 5 and using it as a filmmaking tool. And we finally got some pretty big updates to MetaHumans in the recent release of Unreal Engine 5.6. And I made a whole video that explores all of those upgrades and all those new features. So definitely go check that out. But there are still some areas where MetaHumans are lacking and I wanted to try out Character Creator 5 to see how it stacks up. But luckily Reillusion hooked me up with a copy of Character Creator 5 and a lot of its plugins so that I could try it out for this episode. But I promise you that everything you're about to hear is my opinion opinion, and we're going to dive deep into what this program can do, how it stacks up against the MetaHuman workflow, and honestly, who this program is for. We're going to dive into all of that. So before I even opened the program, I started to research what all they upgraded from Character Creator 4. And I've used Character Creator 4 in the past, but it really wasn't for me. I didn't think the quality of the characters was there in comparison to MetaHumans, and the workflow of transferring those characters from CC4 to Unreal Engine wasn't the best, and that's what really kind of deterred me from using that workflow. But now with Character Creator 5, they have heavily upgraded their character models to have even more subdivision options, skin textures that go up to 8K, and they've added way more blend shapes to the CC5 model so that you get way more accurate facial animation. It is a big step up from CC4 characters. And they have a wide variety of plugins that you can purchase to have even more customization options. One of those is their HD Ultimate Morphs pack, which really is just a bunch of presets to add quick definition and facial features to your character that can really help them stand out. You also have the new actor Mixer Core library where you can easily mix and match features from different character presets, which is very similar to the Mixer feature in the MetaHuman Creator in Unreal Engine 5.6. It makes it very easy to choose different presets as a starting point and mix and match between their different features, but I will say that Character Creator 5 definitely has more customization that you can do beyond that. Now, in my opinion, the biggest update in Character Creator 5 is the new MetaHuman workflow. It is now so easy to take your character out of Character Creator 5 import it into Unreal Engine and swap it out with your existing MetaHuman. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that later in the video. But I think this was super smart by Reillusion. They're not looking at MetaHumans as a competitor, they're looking at them as an extension of Character Creator 5. They've even updated their bone structure to match MetaHumans when you use their new export preset. And they also have their auto setup tool that makes it super easy to take your character to other DCC platforms like Unreal Engine, Unity, Maya, and even Blender. So now I wanna hop into Character Creator 5 and I'll give you guys a quick tour and a quick demo of just how easy it is to get up and running with a character. So you can see over here on the left side, we've got our content section and we've got some different content packs available to us right now. Uh, one of those that comes with Character Creator 5 is their preset project uh, for these characters. So let's go in here to CC5 characters folder. You can see we've got some different face options here, but I'm gonna scroll down until I find the HD Aaron closed avatar. This is basically a full character that has hair, it has clothing applied, and it also has their high quality skin texture applied. So if you click the morph button, we can now start adjusting features on the character. And I want to first start by looking at the face. And what you can do is hit the J key and that's going to focus the camera to the face of your character. And now you can see with that morph button enabled, I now can just highlight over different body parts and I can just start dragging them to start having different looks for my character. I can start adjusting things like the cheekbones or the tip of the nose here. We can adjust the ears, the size of the eyes. There's so much that you have at your disposal and you can also go in and actually modify the actual mesh of your character. So you can click on the part that you wanna modify and you can come in here to edit mesh and now it's actually going to show you the wireframe of that mesh. You can start highlighting and you can grow, you can shrink. You got all these different tools at your disposal to really dial in the mesh of your character. And this also applies to the body of your character. So if you wanna give them huge arms and tiny hands, you can totally do that, super easy. And while we do have the parametric body system in Unreal Engine 5.6, which gave us way more 
options when it came to customizing the body. I think Character Creator 5 is the winner when it comes to just being able to manipulate the body, but also add imperfections and different tweaks to the skin. I mean, there's just so much under the hood that you can do, and that's where I think it really shines. For example, if you have the Realistic Human Skin Pack, we can come in here and we can see that we have a ton of different options at our disposal when it comes to adding things like wrinkles or adding things like acne, moles, and scars, and even things like tattoos. So it's pretty clear that there is a ton at your disposal between their plugins and their marketplace where there is just thousands of objects that you can use to customize your character. And this is one area that I think Fab and MetaHumans has really been lacking. You know, the built-in options in the MetaHuman Creator and Unreal Engine 5.6 is pretty limited. You know, with the hair options, the body options, it is nice having all of that included, but it's still not as extensive as something like the library that's available to you with Character Creator 5. So when it comes to the sheer amount of assets at your disposal for customizing your character, Character Creator 5 does win, but with the caveat that a lot of those things are paid options. And we haven't even scratched the surface for everything that's available to you in Character Creator 5, but if you wanna see more of those customization options, definitely go check out Real Illusion's YouTube channel because they have a lot of great tutorials. What I wanna now switch to is the MetaHuman workflow and show you how easy it is to take this sample character right here and bring it into Unreal Engine 5. I'm gonna bring it into one of my existing projects and replace the MetaHuman that's already being used. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this character, we're gonna come up here to File, we're gonna go to Export, we're gonna go to FBX, and we're gonna do a clothed character. Now this is gonna bring up our dialog box. And I wanna quickly show you guys something that I ran into. You'll see that this box, I can't even see the Export button down at the bottom. And that is because you need to come into your display settings in Windows and actually make sure that there is no scaling being applied. So you can see from my monitor right here, I actually have it set to 150% scale. I'm gonna change that back to 100%. And by doing that, you can now see the export button at the bottom. This was driving me nuts when I was first diving into this program. So I wanted to include that in case anybody else was running into that. But now that we can see the entire export dialog, what we wanna do is switch to the Unreal Engine UE5 skeleton preset. We're going to uncheck embed textures. I'm just gonna do mesh because I don't have any animation applied to it. And we're also going to choose the subdivision level out of Character Creator 5, which acts like the level of detail system in Unreal Engine. But in this case, the higher number is better. So subdivision two is going to give us a much more dense mesh and a much more detailed character. Then after you've done that, all you have to do is hit export and just hit okay. And now we're going to choose where we want to save that. Now the next step is to install the auto setup tool by Reillusion for Unreal Engine. This is super easy to do. You just go to their website, you download the tool. The next thing you're going to need is the Character Creator UE Control Rig plugin. You can find it on Fab. You can search for Character Creator and then you're going to install it to your engine. And then in your project, you should need to come to edit and then plugins, go to over to installed, look for the character creator UE control rig plugin and click the checkbox and then click restart to restart the editor. Now I've already got it installed. So we're gonna go ahead and create a folder here and bring in our sample character. So I've got a characters folder. We're gonna right click, hit new folder. I'm just gonna type then sample. And it's as simple as dragging and dropping it in here. And you're gonna notice it's gonna pop up with a very specific window. This is for the auto setup tool. I'm gonna switch to high quality shader, we're gonna hit okay. And then there's a couple little check boxes we need to do for the import to make sure it all comes in correctly. So eventually you're going to see the traditional FBX import box. And a couple things we need to do here is under advanced, we wanna make sure that use T0 as ref pose is not checked. And then you also want to click import morph targets. Then you just need to click import and it's gonna do its thing and bring in that character to Unreal Engine 5. So after the auto setup tool has done its thing, you'll now see all of these assets imported into your content browser and you can see we have a skeletal mesh asset for that Aaron character brought straight in from Character Creator 5. Now the really cool thing is since we enabled that plugin for the control rig, we can now just right click on that skeletal mesh come down here to the bottom and we're going to look for create CC control rig. And now this is going to create a brand new folder in our content browser called rigs. And this is probably the most important step to integrating this with your MetaHuman because you'll see after it finishes creating those assets, you can go into that rigs folder. And now we have two very important assets. We have a body asset 
and we also have a face asset. And you might be kind of figuring it out now that this is the mesh that we can just replace inside of the MetaHuman Blueprint. So I wanted to show you guys this quick animation right here we have in sequencer of this MetaHuman talking to camera. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take this MetaHuman Blueprint and we're going to replace it with that Character Creator 5 avatar. So we're gonna click on our MetaHuman here and click Edit and Blueprint. And the first thing we're gonna do is delete all the hair from the face. This is something recommended by Reillusion for this workflow. Now what I recommend you do is make a duplicate of your MetaHuman Blueprint before you go and replace everything. That way you still have the original MetaHuman that you could fall back to. So I'm gonna delete all the hair from the face and delete all these other assets that I added as part of this clothing pack because really all we need is the body and the face. So let's start by coming in here and let's go to the Aaron body and we're gonna put that right in here. And then we're gonna go to face and we're going to type in Aaron and we're gonna do Aaron face. And now you'll see if I switch over to the viewport here, we have our character. Here he is as a metahuman. And then all you need to do is hit compile and save. And just like that, we have a character creator five avatar in our sequencer with the body and the face animation applied. It is that easy, guys. This really opens up the possibilities a lot uh, for being able to create custom characters with CC5, bring them into Unreal Engine using these great auto setup tools and plugins that they provided. I mean, it really is a game changer in my opinion. All right, so here's like my unfiltered, honest thoughts. Character creator five is pretty amazing. It has so much much customization and so much at your disposal to add to the character that is just something that I feel has been missing when it comes to the MetaHuman creator. Now, if you're someone who creates MetaHumans casually, I don't know if Character Creator 5 is right for you. This is aimed more at professionals who are wanting an easy, intuitive workflow for creating characters from scratch. But if you find yourself constantly creating characters for your cinematics, then I highly recommend you look into Character Creator 5. And they also have a free trial that you can install on your machine and and try it without really any limitations. And again, I don't look at this as a metahuman killer. I think this is a metahuman companion. It works really well in tandem with it, especially with all the upgrades they've put under the hood to make it super easy to get it into Unreal Engine. And I'm super excited to integrate this into my metahuman workflow. I think this is going to give me so many more options at my disposal, especially when it comes to customizing the face and the body. And it's just amazing that I can easily bring those in and put those inside the metahuman blueprint with very little effort. Now here's my final, final thoughts. You know, Character Creator 5 is a brand new software, so definitely expect some bugs. I had some crashes. I had some things where I had to force quit the application and then reopen it to kind of continue working. So those are definitely things that are being addressed and they're working on updates right now. So definitely be patient with it. It is a new piece of software. But if you are looking to upgrade your workflow and easily customize characters to use in your cinematics, I definitely recommend checking it out. And hey, there's a free trial, so it's very low risk. And if you haven't already, be sure to hop into our Discord server. This is a place where you can surround yourself with other people in the virtual production community. And as always, I'm David Staff with Virtual Production Insider, and we'll see you guys next time.